startup capital. Facebook started in a dorm room for nothing. Apple began in a garage with some spare computer parts. The lessons being, you don't need millions in venture capital to build a Fortune 500 company. Even if you don't have those things, you can still launch a successful business for no money down. All it takes is hard work, dedication and of course the right idea. Some of the business ideas are, so first business idea is coaching and tuition center. This is one of the perfect business idea. Every parent want to send their kids to coaching and tuition center, no matter whatever he or she really needs that or not. So just take advantage of that. One more option in tutor business is to be the middleman and recruit bright, broke college kids uh, to do the actual work. Startup costs are fairly cheap. You can operate out of your house or the student's home. You can even conduct sessions online via service like Skype. One of the most important aspects of the tutoring trade is knowing what to charge. Most of the large tutoring academies command $40 to $50 per hour for group lessons. You can easily charge that much or more for private lessons. So next idea is tour guide operator. Do you love where you live? Do you enjoy taking friends and family members to out of the way places they had never found on their own? If so, you can easily turn your passion into a profitable business. You can advertise your new tour service for free with a Facebook page. You can also list yourself as a local expert on sites like Yelp. And you can leverage services like Google, Google Maps to create walking and driving tools that give your clients a one-of-a-kind experience. You can also broaden your service. Uh, if you are an avid biker, start a biking too. Are you an art lover? There is nothing tourists love more than hitting the local museums. Once your business catches fire, you can hire more tour guides and uh, build a travel empire. So next idea is matrimony services. There are millions of people who don't trust on online matrimonial sites but trust on offline services. So you can help such people and charge good amount for helping them in finding their soulmates. Now next idea is virtual assistant. Most business owners spend too much time on tasks that could easily be handled by someone else. That's where a virtual assistant can help. Virtual assistants are just like in office assistant except they may never meet their bosses face to face. Communication is typically done via email, phone or web conference. Virtual assistant performance administrative duties and other jobs from home on a contract basis. Increasingly, they also provide a range of specialized services including bookkeeping, market research, even technology troubleshooting. Good virtual uh, assistant can command anywhere from $20 to $75 an hour, depending on geographical location and skill set. A first step to becoming a virtual assistant is to sign up with an organization like the International Virtual Assistants Association or Assist You, which provides registries of qualified professionals to people looking for a good virtual assistant. Other sites like Do My Stuff allow you to bid on listed jobs. You can also build your own team of reliable virtual assistants and become the go-to agency for this valuable service. Another small business which women would love to do is jewelry making. All you have to do is to learn jewelry making especially fancy ones. There are so many 7 day program to learn jewelry making. Once you learn it all you have to do supply to it initially to your known fancy stores, garment store, gift stores and know the response. When the response is good you can scale up to big stores and later you can come out with your own brand of jewels. You can do it small scale as well as large scale depending on your finance. Another business idea is personal trainer. You can become a personal trainer. With the introduction of fitness centers, people have become more health conscious. Initially people were going to gym but for many of them they do not have time to go to the gym so they buy fitness equipment and start exercising at their home. Since they do not know what to do, they take the help of the personal trainer. Personal trainer is the person who will come to the customer's place 
and train them on exercising and food habits. If you are fitness freak, you can look at this option as a small business. Now another business idea is translation business. Translation business online is very good freelancing business. The main skill required to do the business is your regional language skills and English language skills. If you have the skill, then you have so many business opportunities on the net. You will be either paid on the project basis or word count basis. In the business, you can decide on how much money you want to make. Since there is no investment in this business, you can initially try it part time and based on your returns, you can do it as a full time business. Now next business idea is storing palm oil for money. Storing palm oil during peak season and reselling during off season is a great business idea that can fetch one a lot of money depending on the amount of capital one has. Palm oil business is known to be very lucrative as one can actually have to 100% and above profit. The most important thing about this business is getting the right information on where to buy, when to buy, how to store and when to resell. There are two seasons for palm oil. First between February and April, this period is known as peak season and the price of the palm always drops drastically which gives room for smart entrepreneur to maximize the opportunity. The second season is between October and December which is always characterized by scarcity and rising price of palm oil. During this period one can resell the stored palm oil and make a profit that can be as high as 100% or even 200%. There is technique that can be used to make more profit from this business. The technique is very simple and this is the technique immediate after the peak season around July the price will go up and you can sell and make a profit of around 50 to 60%. The price will go down around September when most farmers will be selling their stored palm oil to cater for the school fees of their children starting new academic sessions. So as a smart entrepreneur, you can use the money again to buy at a cheaper price and sell all a high price during off season. When you calculate your profit, it will be far higher than those that waited until the off season alone. Now next is soybean storage. This is also like the one of the palm oil. Storing soybean during peak season and reselling during the off season is another great and lucrative business that is yet to be fully tapped. Soybean is leguminous crop with a lot of nutritional and health benefits and as a result of this it is being used by man as food and for making animal feeds such as poultry feed, fish feed. This farm produce is needed for fish farming and because of increased interest of people in fish farming has made this product use a highly sought after one. This is a business that very few people know about and are getting a lot of money year in year out. Now next idea is wedding films. Big fat weddings are the order of the day. Now there is new trend of making films on bride and groom like a movie. This movie will include songs and dance making it look more like a Bollywood film. If you are from a media background, you can also think about it as a small business option. Any new things are welcome as long as it is ethical or legal. Hope you will pick right business idea, analyze, research and then start the business. How to make money by just playing games. Yeah, by playing games. Did you ever wish for something like this to happen? You can keep on playing hours and hours but this time you would be get paid. There are so many companies further and tell you about the best ways to make money online. Now first way is blogging. Blogging is the best way to make money online. But if you jump in the blogging arena just to make money then it will be a time waste. It is because blogging is a profession. You need many important skills to do well in blogging. Some of the skills include writing skill, SEO, web designing and some other skills. 
I will give you an example.